So there's a quote that says, if a man knows not which port he sails, no wind is favorable, which basically means if you've got, got a target or a destination, then you're just blowing in the wind and going nowhere. So before you race, before you get in the blocks, before you even warm up, what's your outcome that you want out of the race that you're going to run? What is the ideal outcome? Is it a time? Is it a position? Is it winning the race? I mean, that's probably, you know, one of the main ones. Is, are you going to win the race? You visualize that. So this is really important. If you need to have, it's ideal to have a destination, a specific destination, something specific, because the mind and body needs something specific. It needs a specific time or a specific position that you're trying to get. And you need to put that in your mind and visualize it and sense how it feels to do that time. How does the, how does the race feel? How does it feel to run? How does it feel when you cross the line and you've got that outcome? Give the body and mind a target, an outcome that it needs, something specific. And once you have that, then you're actually going to be able to relax. Now, initially, probably not. If you're not used to it, you're going to probably set that outcome in there and then your mind is going to come in or your ego is going to come in. You could never do that. You can never do that time. Yeah, but you probably come up with a, that's a bit, that's a bit, kind of optimistic isn't it that's a bit ambitious that time or it's going to say it's going to say other limiting beliefs like you've just been injured or you've got no chance you know you this is the chance when this is not the time to be um, this is not the time to be realistic in your in your imagination or your outcome this is not the time to be realistic because when you shoot for the stars you reach the moon you need to push those limiting beliefs to the side. Limiting beliefs and being realistic is not helpful to you. Now, that doesn't mean that you, you set a target at a time that's just absolutely impossible for you at the time. But you send something, you, you set a time or an, a, a kind of result, an outcome that you're de you'd be delighted with. And But, you know, you know you can get. Or it's just outside of what you can get. So just that, in that respect, it has to be realistic. But, you know, what you don't want is the mind and body to say, come in and listening to them and saying, you can't do that. That's the problem, isn't it? That realistic, that, that's when the ego comes in and says, you can't do that. You can't do that. You've been injured or you haven't been training hard enough or this and that could happen. This person's in the race or... This is that that guy's really fast or that you've got to, you've got to just watch those little limiting beliefs and just watch them and just breathe and say, so what to them? Say what? So what to your limiting beliefs? And then get in the box and there's only one outcome for this race. You're focused on it. And that means you can relax to it and you'll find the body does relax to it. Once you put the limiting beliefs to the side and you've 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 actually giving yourself an outcome, then the body can relax actually. You start to get energized and focused because the body needs focus. But as you get into the blocks and just before you get in the blocks, you should have already visualized. So I suggest even before you stand behind the blocks, ready to get the blocks, you should have already visualized. You should have visualized probably a, a couple of times in the warm up or just before you warm up as well. And you should have put it in the mind. And then it, that's just before you get in the blocks, that's a time to be relaxed concentrate on your breathing watch the nerves come in watch them don't get consumed by them watch the nerves come in and then use your breathing allow your 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 shoulders to relax feel your arms feel your body and once you feel your body then you're in the present moment and then you relax because at this point you're comfortable with the outcome you want and you're comfortable in the fact that you will get it okay there's no belief you get but you're comfortable in the fact that you will get it and that's what being relaxed means. So give that a try. If, you, if you're actually unsure of it, go to do it in training. What's the outcome in the training that you want? In the rep you want, you're gonna do. What's the outcome? Visualize it, visualize how it feels, and then put it to your back of your mind. Once you've done it, get in the present moment, use the breathing, push the limiting beliefs to the side. Don't get consumed by them, watch them, but don't get consumed by them because they're not you. 
and just focus on that outcome that you want. Once you have that, then you're relaxed. So that's just the thing, just give the body an outcome. Otherwise, no wind is favorable. So if you like that video, please like it, please share it, and definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna give you more videos like this that are crucial to you performing well and getting the, the, the uh, capitalizing on your potential as a sprinter, as a 400 meter runner. You've got to have this channel. You've got to subscribe to this channel and pick up on this stuff. I don't know any other channels that are giving this kind of information away. So please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.